Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here by this Talonflame, I think. People are probably like, wow, look at this dummy. He doesn't even know what a Kabusha Woo is. Oh, cool, Dazzling Honey. Oh, hi, a Silcoon. Wow, you're aggressive? Really? Also, you still see me, even though I hid in the grass. Hiya! Wow, oh, you're level 7, friend. I don't think you should be aggressive. I don't think it's healthy for you. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's a very dead cocoon. Later. Remember you defeated with flying-type moves. Yeah, and we're getting close to the, the thingy over there. There's a Psyduck. Hi, Psyduck. Can I see what you're all about? It's hard to get it to actually focus in like I want to sometimes. There we go. Ooh, you're level 15. Number of heavy specimens, number defeated. Number of times you defeated it with electric type moves. I wonder what the little up arrows on the left side of the screen are. Yeah, like what are those? What does that mean? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh... I think I will catch another one. Um, can I catch you with... Oh, it ran. You little doofus. Come back here. There you go. hi -ya! What? That didn't work? Oh, come on. Wow, you can't throw these things far at all. Yeah, you can't throw these things anywhere. Um... What did, what did you just... Did you just try to water gun me? You should stop that. It's not healthy. Is that a Wurmple? It's another Wurmple. Uh, I want to say I finished... Does this count as tall grass? I actually don't know. I want to catch something with a heavy ball, man. Huh. Eat it, dork. You too. There we go. I got a spoiled apricorn. From what? Okay, well, I've caught a few of those now. <clears throat> and I've caught three without being spotted. Uh-huh. Cool, cool. Hey, yeah, uh, what was over here? Just this stuff. Neato. Uh, am I good on you, Wurmple? I actually don't know. Yeah, no. Actually, we're not, we're not good with Wurmple. Number... I've defeated. Number of caught without being spotted. Let's do, um, catch it without being spotted. I think that's probably the easiest way to satisfy multiple conditions at once. Wow, you can really throw that thing far as long as you're locked on. That's very helpful. <clears throat> cool. Now have we finished it? Dartrix leveled up. Ooh, there's something up there in that tree. I want that star- Oh wait, yeah, no, that wasn't a Talonflame, that was a Star Raptor. <laughs> I forgot I realized that last time. Whoopsie. I really am a dummy. Yeah, it's totally a Star Raptor. I can see it now. I want to catch it, but, uh... I don't think it gets close enough for me to do so. Hey, come over here. I want to add a Tier 3 Mon to my team. Yeah, how do you catch it, I wonder? I would think being up here would, I don't know, make it aggressive or something. Because it can see you. But, uh, no. Yeah, I just remembered mentioning last time how I kept thinking it was a Talon Flame, so I was like, oh yeah, it was a Talon Flame, wasn't it? And then I'm like, no, it, no, it wasn't. I'm wrong basically all the time. Never listen to anything I say. Uh, oh, hi. You didn't see anything. Okay, yeah, you did, maybe. Alright, well, I just wanted this anyway. I didn't want you. <gasps> a combi! I love combi! Unfortunately, you're a boy combi, which unfortunately means you're kind of useless. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna quick attack you. I don't think that will kill you. Don't kill it. Okay, yeah, no, you're good. Struggle bug. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Oh, and you lowered all of my, uh, offensive stats. Interesting. And, uh, the reason Boy Combi isn't super amazing is because, um, Combi can only evolve 
if it's a lady combi, because they become Vespa Queen. So, uh, there we go. Later, Baneri. Alrighty. Look at us doing things. Number you've seen leap out of trees. I have done that. You are right. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to scare you, Veneri. Okay, so I'm getting distracted again. That's a whole ass Luxio over there. That's a whole ass Luxio. Where are you? Oh, it sees me. Is it aggressive? I don't know, actually. I would assume so, considering Shinx was. Okay, let's just... Let's try to get it with a heavy ball. If we can get it with a heavy ball, we got this. Hiya! That might actually work. That was a heavy ball. Wow, you were unaware and everything! Dork! Okay, never mind, that didn't work. Um... We don't have ground type moves. Um, I mean, I guess I can beat you up with this. Come here. Come on, Dartrix. Bite me. Oh, there you are. I was like, where, where's my Dartrix? Uh, all right. So yeah, this is effective. That is not very effective. So Let's hit you with Magical Leaf. That's more powerful, and I believe you were a mixed attacker, so it doesn't really matter what I use. Thundershock. Ah. Okay, that didn't hurt that bad. Because you're more of a physical mon, as we've been over. I'll just beat you up for the XP. Probably should have tried to, ca uh, tried to catch you, but I don't know. I feel like it would have been a pain. Don't mind me, Shinx. I'm leaving. Don't worry about it. Alright, it's turning... Night time again. So, all the night mons are gonna come out. Night mons! Oh, night mons! Me! Ooh, more combi! And these are. Wow, how did you hear me from that far away? Jeez. Uh huh! Eat it, dork! I want to catch all the combi I can. I really like Vespaquin. They're cool. Uh, oh, Bidoof can evolve. Whoop. How long have you been able to evolve, Bidoof? Okay. Sorry, just give me a second. Um, gotta evolve my, my doof here. I thought it was level 20 you evolved. Is it really level 15? Alright, oh well, we're gonna get ourselves a barrel. Does that look like the face of mercy to you? That is God. And God it. Look at this doofy idiot. The idea for a new move. Congratulations. Okay, well, at least I evolved you. Cool. Hi. Are you leaving, or... What are you doing? Oh, you are trying to attack me. Okay. Um, well, Staravia, go. We're gonna murder this combi. It's a boy combi anyway. Like I said, useless. Okay, fine, run away then. See if I care. Didn't want you anyway, stupid combi. Uh, ooh, hello. Uh, can I lock on to you? Uh, please. Please. You were close enough. Until you weren't. Okay, well. Alright, I'm out of here. Fine, I'll leave you alone. I need to go- Oh! It's a scyther. What was that noise? Oh, one of my cats is playing with something in the kitchen. Okay, that's fine. Carry on, then. Uh. Okay, never mind. That's actually pretty loud. One second. Alright, so, I got the culprit. We have a, like, golf ball that my wife just found randomly- hiking in the woods one time. So we kept it, and my cats love to play with it. And they were in there knocking it into the walls and everything. They will have it back when I finish recording. I promise. I'm not a... not a monster. Hey, you're the mushroom I needed! Oh, that feels bad. I should have paid for more. Um... Level somebody up with that red candy. I guess. 
Or I could use this final potion. Let's just do that. There we go. Enjoy Dart. Oh, I shouldn't have used it on Dartrix. Dartrix has Roost. Okay, so... Hi, Scyther. Um... Do you mind... If I catch you... Hiya! In the ball. Go away. No, no, no. Oh! Please don't murder me, Scyther. What? It got out? Really? Okay, color me confused and surprised. I want you. You're cool. I'm going to go fight like your... Your... This region's version of your dad. Silver wind on a Scyther. Not what I would go for. Okay, th that, that double hit's gonna have to go. Just saying. Okay. Probably use Aerial Ace here because we have higher attack. There we go. Okay, that's the one that used double hit, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now you use double hit. Okay, unfortunately I might just have to murder you both. Sorry. I don't want to find out how much damage you're going to do to me with that double hit. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, why'd you use it twice? Does it stack? No, I just think you're a dummy. Alright, here you go. Those heavy balls are not working out as uh, much in my favor as I thought they would. I was hoping it would be like a... ...near guaranteed catch. If you uh, got him with one of those, but... Oh my goodness. This Scyther's kind of a boss. Um... Hmm. <clears throat> well then. Um... You would not be a good option, because they do have a bug move. Of course, you would res you it, it would be neutral damage against you because you're uh, flying and grass, so... Go for it. Um, I'm gonna throw another Pokeball. Just get in there, Scyther, okay? God, this is like the Safari Zone and Gold and Silver all over again. Okay, cool. Huh. Thank ya. Let me a Scyther. I am happy about this. Makes sense that we'd be able to catch Scyther around here. Okay, can I get you too? Okay, you saw me. Never mind. Um... Uh, hey yeah. There we go. Yeah. Fortunately, it seemed like it was kind of hard to sneak up on you. Luckily, Dartrix can probably handle you. Eat Aerial Ace? Okay, that's a kill. Alright, bye-bye. Alright, who needs to level up, actually? I should probably get Beauty Fly out of here. Um... I want to level up Buizel. Let's do Buizel. Da 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 da. Some Orin Berries. I don't have space. Oh, I, I really need to buy some more of those satchel upgrades. I saw a picture somebody posted that was like, um, it, it, they, they needed a million Poke Dollars for the next upgrade. And I'm like, God, how many of those things do you have to get for it to be that high? Is there like another, um, rest spot over here or something that I'll unlock? Probably after I beat Cleavor, right? We'll unlock a new rest spot. Alright, I don't know what fall damage is like in this game, but... Don't- don't black out from this fall, please. Okay, no, that's not even a fall. We're good. Alright, I have Weasel. Um... So, I think we'll probably be good with Weasel? Let's just go check it out. Let's go see what we can do here. H hello Nice hat. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Hi, nice pickaxe. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor, I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. Whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me, it's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> That's that, then. Truly? You mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleavor so paltry? But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. <laughs> you have a Gumi? I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm 
turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Okay. Well, it's not a Gudra, so it's not going to be that bad. The only problem is I do not for the life of me remember what typing Gumi is. I don't even know if you're a dragon yet. It says it's not very effective, so... Hmm. Well. I think I'm just going to hit you with Swift. It does neutral damage. Yeah, that'll be enough. Yeah, I don't even know if you're dragon yet. I'm I'm, th I'm pretty sure you're poison dragon once you actually evolve, but I think for now you're just poison, and I don't have a ground type to take care of that, so. There you go, Gumi down. Are all the trainers going to have one Pokemon? That was one of my biggest pet peeves with Sun and Moon. No trainer was ever a challenge because we all just had one Pokemon. Or two. <laughs> How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor right now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Like the devastating blows you just gave me? If that's all it is, I think I can handle it. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. Nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Wydir, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sin of Power to protect Pokémon and people alike, so it's said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in Vastasui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. It will lead to conflict with both... If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. So I gotta go bop your cool... your cool Scyther. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I don't know. <laughs> I just love these responses. Your commander tasked you with investigating this mess, didn't he? Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you have to search every corner of Vastasui. I will. I will do this. Oh, sorry, getting a call from God, don't mind me. Serious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant! Ooh, press the X button while consulting the map on your arc phone to instantly travel to base camps in other locations. However, you're very aware that this feature might not be usable in some situations. Good! That's how it should be. It's always rough when the game has like a big pl story plot point coming on, going on that's like, the world will be destroyed in five minutes, we have to take care of this right now. And it's like, or you can go do side quests. Looking at using a Blade Chronicles 2. Alright, so with that, we can instantly return to places. Man, that's gonna be a far walk back, but uh I wanna go to the heights camp. I needed to heal anyway. Hello. Getting out to the wilds, I could use rest. Um just a little while. I think that'll do me. Thank you. Party Pokemon arrested and happy again. Leventon. Good to see you, Quasi. And how's your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh ho, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Yay! Look at all the Pokemon, I call it. Ooh, big money. What is this jazzy music? I'm kind of into it. Alright, so we have new things. Did we have Staravia before? 
They form remarkably large flocks and are constantly fighting amongst themselves. I suspect that those with magnificent plumes on their heads are the strong ones. Proudly uses electrified claws as weapons. It seems to be a gracious Pokemon, even sharing the spoils of the hunt with others of its kind. Okay, so yeah, we finished off Luxio's too. Makes its home in mountainous regions. Using its arms to climb along harsh roads can be troublesome. Carelessly kicking one will cause it to fly into a rage and chase after you. It moves freely in the water. Yeah, we've done those. Uh, have I done you? I mean, I guess I finished off your, your thing. Oh, all times I've seen it used. Okay, that's why. Uh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Flies noiseless, noiselessly on delicate wings. It has mastered the art of deftly launching dagger-sharp feathers from those same wings. Okay, and we've looked at you guys. So we're good there. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Almost enough for the next rank. We're doing it. We're doing it, too, in it, we are. Well, this is good, because I wanted to swap my Pokemon. So, according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events, that Frenzy Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible that the aromas or, or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that would not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It'd be a fool's gambit to get close to enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would, I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Uh-huh. The clock's ticking, Professor, come on. You're not even looking at anything, you're just staring at your bookcase. Open a book, nerd. Okay, now you're reading. I'm talking to Raze. Oh, hey, it's an Oshawott. It's the Oshawott. Eureka! <laughs> Alright, so... I, I don't have a problem saying this, because I say this in my videos all the time. Don't think I've said it in this playthrough yet. Usually it's only episodes that piss me off. But, um... When I first saw that, for some reason I thought it said fuck. <laughs> I thought Levented was just like, fuck! I think it was seeing the the U, the K, and everything. I, I don't know. It, 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 plus, it was the fact that it was, like, loud with an exclamation point. I, I don't know, man. My brain goes weird places sometimes. I simply have to throw the food. Wow. What a concept. You've got the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Quasi? Might I suggest you take Cleavor's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokémon? Makes sense. N no, don't elaborate, please. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved foods into balls and then throw them to achieve the same calming effect but from afar. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy uh, projectiles, I think we'll call them... Boffins? No, 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 no. no. Poffins. Poffins? How about tea time balls? Leventon, that's stupid. Puts one in a uh, mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Leventon balls? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our friendly friend. Or our frenzied friend. No, it sounds like your balls are being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should hurry back to Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. We're off to Grand Tree Arena. Best set out from the Heights Camp, eh? Okay. Oh, I love that Cynthiquil is sitting in a fireplace. Is that just where you like to sit? You adorable little baby. I love Cynthiquil. I, 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 I love Cynthiquil. Hey, you. I would like more space in my satchel. Teach me. Thousand. I don't care. Makes more space. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. Uh, 1500. Oh, okay, you're getting exponential now. The first few were very, very cheap. But now you're getting crazy. 
How do people even get a million Poké Dollars? Who in this small town even has a million Poké Dollars to give me? Thank you. I think that's the last one I'll get, because they're probably going to get a little bit too expensive for my tastes. Now. At least with the amount of cash I have currently. Alright. Later. Alright, so we need to go swap our Pokémon out. I might be able to do, turn in some side quests and stuff as well. So maybe we can do that too. And where's the shop that we spend merit points at? Is it you? Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and trade Pokémon with others. Good of you to stop by. Uh... I want to get items. Pokéballs... Oh wow, you need a lot of these things. A leaf stone, a thunderstone, a water stone, fire stone, an ice stone, moonstone, sunstone, shiny stone, dust stone, dawn stone, oval stone. Certain species of Pokemon evolve. Not familiar with that. I would say like a Chansey or something, but because it looks like an egg. But Razor Claw. Uh, yeah, it's led by a certain Pokemon. Know about that one? Razor Fang, Reaper Cloth, Metal Coat. Yep. Protector for, yep. Electrolyzer, Magmarizer. Upgrade. Dubious Disc. Oh boy. And a Link Cord. A string exuding a myst mysterious energy that makes you feel a strange sense of connection. Whoa, no way. Is that used to just evolve Pokemon that normally evolve by traits? That's super, super cool if so. I just felt a breeze to the right of me and it was very cold and I'm like, what is the door open? No. There's just a ghost. A ghost just went by me. It's fine. If I just randomly scream and get possessed and die, then I appreciate you all. And it was nice serving with you or something. Alright, so... Uh, I want to trade Pokemon. Okay, no. Yeah, so that's just internet stuff. Okay, I probably won't be doing that. Uh, huh. So, do I want to learn anything new from you? I don't think so. And you had the, like, weird charm things that I don't think I need yet. Or want to resort to yet. Okay, so, yeah, let's just, uh, run over here. You really need to work on your cardio. Where's the person I can, where's the person I can pay money to, you know, make my cardio better? Alright, what's up? You have some Pokemon you like to- yeah. Okay, so... I want to keep Weasel. Um, I think I want to keep Beautifly. Because Beautifly is pretty strong. Um, but Barrel can go. Don't need you. Um, I don't have to evolve Cricketot because I already have a Cricketoon. Um, I do like me some Rapidash, but this particular Rapidash kind of sucked. If I remember correctly. Um, yeah, there's the Cricketune I caught. Not horrible. I did not get a Lady Combi. There's the Pikachu. Um, hmm. And there's my Scyther. Well, I'm gonna put you right there. What are you about? Scyther. Lower special attack, higher speed. That is not bad. That's not a bad nature at all. That's not a bad nature at all. Um, huh. Well, Scyther, you, uh, might be coming with. Um, unfortunately I can't evolve you until I get a... ...the Metal Coat. But I don't think I would want to evolve you yet anyway. I don't remember if Scyther is one of those Pokémon where once it evolves it doesn't really learn anything, so you want to learn all of its good moves first and then evolve it. I think that's mostly stone Pokemon, though. Uh... Well, I, I'm, I'm good with that for now. Um, so wait, if I have Scyther, I don't need Beautifly. Although Beautifly does have my highest attack stat currently, which is kind of nuts. But I don't need two bug types. And I have too many flyers already, so... Beautifly, you can, you can, you can go in. Alright, so... Okay, you're just normal, but you learn baby doll eyes. Uh, yeah, we could get a Golduck, Golbat. So let's see type coverage. I need ground moves. Geodude has Mud Slap. 
so... Let's see if I have a good Geo, dude. Oh, I also want Drifloon, though. Hmm. Alright, Geo, dude, what's up? What are you looking like? Higher defense, lower special attack? Not awful. Not awful for sure. Higher speed. Please. A speedy Mon Geodude is not. I feel like I'm gonna like uh, speed even more in this, so I'm gonna hate slow Mons even more. Lower attack, higher special defense? No, thank you. Um, higher attack, lower special defense. Now that... Might be the one I go for. Alright, get in here. You big dork. So... Yeah, I think we'll roll with this team for a bit. Switch it up a little bit. Alright, cool. So... Let's check our thingy. Maduhiki. This, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, I can't do this now. Where was this? Uh, that's that objective. Um, I don't see it anywhere on the map. Oh, that's a new request. Yeah, I don't remember where that character was. They wanted the springy. Are they only out in, like, daytime? I might be here at the wrong time, but here's a new request. Let's go ahead and accept this, I suppose. Hi, hi. Can't get a good night's sleep like this. Oh yeah, you! Wah! Don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need. Come back later, alright? Are you alright? Are you being haunted by the Drifloon that... ...keep escaping from the pasture? Hmm, maybe a survey, survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels... ...feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes this is kind of crackling sound. L Litwick? Lampant? Chandelure? I found burnt berries a couple of times, and once in a while I heard something- I hear something clatter. So, survey core kid, go survey my quarters, find out what's happening. Strange happenings at midnight. This is cool, so there's quests relative to what time of day it is. I'll have to keep that in mind. Just do it at night, would you? I've got to be at work during the day. Okay, enter. I'll go in here and take care of it. Ready to investigate my place? Yeah. I have my buizel, so... I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? I will do this. Okay. Come on out, Litwick. I know you're in here. Cloth has been pulled to one side and is... Is that a hair on him? A short black hair? Short black hair, burnt stuff up. Okay, maybe it's not a ghost type. I kind of assumed it would be a ghost type. But if it has hair, then I'm thinking that's probably not the case. My cat's currently freaking out. Have a good time, you little idiot. It's rolled up. Fur of, uh, full of rolled up architectural plans. There's a catch of a magic carp too. Perhaps it's part of the plans for Galaxy Hall. Okay. And that was... Okay, I thought that was this thing, but that's that. Uh, it's full of neatly folded uniforms. Uh, cabinet? Closet door is open just a crack. Do you want to peek inside? Sure. Jump scare warning, here we go. Some weird clothes and a cape inside. Oh. That wasn't it. Uh-huh. Faint smell. It seems like berries have been present here. What was that? There's a noise from the entryway. Uh... What's in here? The closet door's open just a crack? Yeah, sure. Do we see anything? It contains architectural models. There's a model with a Gyarados sculpture on it. Perhaps it's an earlier design for Galaxy Hall. Cool. There's a cloth draped neatly over the mirror. Draw it back. Well, that's creepy. I don't like that noise. Oh, you might have just heard a little mow. Yeah, my cat has the zoomies right now, my kitten specifically. Doesn't seem you solved the mystery yet. Need to break? No. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook. Okay. 
So by the entryway. I thought I had to leave. I thought it left. You hear something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. Crackle, crackle. Is it a Litwick? You saw sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran by you. Uh-huh. There was a noise from the back near the closets. Okay. Is it this one? All the doors open just to crack. Okay. Just, just the Gyarados and stuff again. You? You want to peek inside? Take a peek. There are some weird clothes in the cape. Yeah. Here? Lighting windows are slightly ajar, as if they were recently moved. This? Berries? Come here? Draw back. Why is that- why would the creepy sound? It did say it was back here, right? Was it this? Oh, it might be this. It's a Pichu! It did say a black hair. It's just a Pichu, I'm fine. Survey Corps kid, are you alright? I heard this strange noise. It's just a Pichu. Wait a minute, this Pichu, could it be... Might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. It loves you. A berry for me? What, because they fixed you up? Chew. Wait, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. To think I was afraid it was some spine-chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Yay! Okay, that was kind of an interesting quest. And a nab berry. Not to be confused with the banana. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty cool one. Neato. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't think it'd be that in-depth or anything. Sure enough, it was. Oh, the Bidu for sleeping on the building she stays at. I, I kind of hope that happens more. As we bring more Pokemon into the village, they kind of have different locations that they go to and hang out. That would, that would be such a cool detail. Because those have to be the three Bidoof. That would, that would, I don't know, that would, that would make this whole town feel kind of more alive. I mean, I guess it happened with you because this Wurmple's here now. The Wurmple's just always here. What a small thing that they didn't have to do that really makes the town feel more alive. That is super neat. Alright, had to go grab myself some water. So... I took care of that quest. I still need to give the mushroom to you. Is there nothing... Prelude Beach. Completed Pokedex entry for Cherum. Oh, I have that. Are you still out there? No, it needs to be daytime. I guess I could go sleep until morning at my house. Yeah, my quarters are... Is that them right there? Right here, right? I do believe this is it. Yeah, let's just sleep until daytime so I can turn a lot of these quests in. Uh, oh wait, no, this isn't mine. Shit, whose is this? I got confused by the map. I got flipped turned upside down. I'm sorry. I can't read maps. So... No, that was my quarters. Oh no, that was just somebody, some random person's quarters. My quarters was specifically the one over here. I didn't think it would let me enter one that wasn't my quarters. I sort of just assumed. Okay. Uh, how long would you like to rest? Until morning. Sounds like a good call to me. Da -da -da. Cool. Alright, so leave. Alright, so quests. I have some I want to turn in. And where do I go about doing this? Music lover. Wait for the cricket dot. Fill in. Where is she? Where is she, though? Whatever. I don't know where you are. Okay, what? what? Oh, no. I, I, I sorted them differently. Okay, there we go. Um, perfect pickling stone. Give a geodude to you. I can do that. Let's do the mushroom cake. 
Where are all these characters at? Are you in here? I remember I accepted a few quests in here. Maybe they're in here. That might be the case. Um, oh, and it doesn't tell me. Huh. Or are they are they only like in the certain spots at like midday or something? Weird. Yeah, unfortunately I don't just remember the names of all of the individual characters that I've ran into. So, I'm kind of relying on the waypoints to lead me to the correct area. But, uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I wish the, um, quest objectives were like, they're only around at this time, or something. I don't know. Doesn't seem like I can turn it in right now, at least. So... Yeah, screw that for now, I guess. Um... Alright... Uh, make a Pokeshi doll. Yeah, Cherim, Cricketot. Okay, so I guess we're done. I can't do either of these as far as I can tell. Because they're not showing up on the map. And yeah, they're like not out here. I wonder, I wonder if there will be like rare Pokemon at the practice field or something at some point. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's, uh, get back out there, I suppose. So I'm just supposed to give, um... Uh, what's-his-face, a, uh... Oh, you can use this to fast travel around in town, too. That's neat. I was just trying to use it to go to, um, the place I wanted to go to. Hello. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Yo, what's up? Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Before you actually see what's going on, though, let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Sure. I can do that. Yeah, maybe certain uh, quest characters only appear at, like, midday? I assumed, like, day and night would be the only options, but... Oh, hey! Hey, not Stantler. Weir. Spoke to Weir Deer about what's going on. Told him how you've been trekking all over the fieldland seeking a way to quell Cleavor's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weir Deer's found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, I? <clears throat> this is very important, so listen well. Da 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 Play the Song of Storms. That's the Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on a uh, weirder, wider, so you can ride him said that Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Oh cool, I have a mount. Flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bury around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. Not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Was it a melody, or was it just like... Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know how you would make that sound on a flute. Ritter opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. <clears throat> cool. What? The mind play- really? <laughs> okay. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great white weir, uh, white ear. Is no one going to talk about how they just gave me a god plate? You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With wide ear, you can gallop across the fieldlands in no time. Okay, well that's going to make traveling a lot faster. You can now call wide ear and gallop across the land. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for what Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places. Yeah, I wouldn't want to break wider's knees. 
and all that. <clears throat> oh, are you the quest objective? Person? Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. Here you have the rare ability to dash over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Oh no, you're a new quest. Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? Oh no. Not a mini game. It's a game I invented myself. I'm sure it's shit. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You managed to burst, say, 17 balloons. Well, that'd be an impressive start. I mean, it's le at least it's not the archery minigame from Majora's Mask, as long as it's not that. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you like to test your skill in the balloon race. Sure. Ride a Pokemon to smash through the balloons. Ride, ride, and burst them all. If you manage to... Okay. How about a kid? Want to play? I'll give it a try. 30 balloons. See how many of them you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and get bursting. Wow, we have mini games in my Pokemon. Oh, the poor... No, not the Drifloon. Okay. Oh, you, um, control a bit differently than I would have, uh, thought. Uh, what was the button? It was Y to jump. Shit, that was my bad. Why? Out of the way, Cricketot. Jeez. You want to be stampeded to death? Wait, what's happening? Where am I going now? All this way. I was supposed to make a turn and I didn't. There we go. I think I'm doing pretty damn well. This isn't all that hard, actually. Yeah. Quite easy, actually. I mean, if I hadn't wasted my time earlier, I might have uh, been able to get them all. To be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, I only missed two. And one of them was the one I didn't jump at because I forgot what the button for jump was. And the other one was uh, one I didn't have enough time for because I took a wrong turn. Welcome back, you burst 28 balloons. So close to bursting them all. A little reward should help keep you motivated. Cool. What do you know? You beat all my... You beat my target to bursting at least 17 balloons. Well done. Okay. You want to give me the... Ooh, 15 feather balls. Thank you. Take part in balloon uh, races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. So do you want me to... get them all? <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> Do I get a reward if I get them all? Maybe. Let's find out, why don't we? Ah! Uh, where to? Just get it! Jeez! <laughs> okay, I'm not- I'm not getting it. I wasted too much time when I was trying to circle and get that one stupid balloon that I missed. I just tried to turn around, and Ritter has a uh, horrible turning radius. Ten Pokeballs. Thank you. All right, I want to try it again. God, this is going to be just as frustrating as I imagine it's probably going to be once we get to some of these harder ones, huh? It's going to drive me nuts. Mini games in these types of games always do. Got it. Oh. Race mini games in video games were the bane of my childhood. I'm looking at you, Star Fox Adventures. I'm looking at you, Jack and Daxter. I I I'm looking at a lot of things, quite frankly. God, I, I was, they were the bane of my existence. I, I like rage quit so many games as a child because I couldn't beat the race sections. 
Welcome back, you burst 30 balloons. P perfection you popped every single balloon. You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. Ooh, thank you. A nugget of the purest gold that gives off a lustrous gleam in direct light. Why do you have this? You have to- ooh. Thank you. Alright, cool. I did it. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and summon you. And uh, get out here, why don't we? So, I haven't completed uh, Geodude's tree, right? Um, get off. I haven't completed your thing, right? Oh no, I've completed you. Okay, later Geodude. I don't care about you. You are worthless to me. Okay, I am done with Starly. Yeah. Wait, my objective is way over there? Wait, why? Um... Timber of the Fields. Oh, you're the... You're the little quest objective I've been tracking. Okay, I mean, let's go over there. That's where you were. I see. Uh... Yeah, you! Okay, I remember. That's where you were. Jeez. I thought you were in some weird spot. You've completed Cricketot's Pokédex page? Great, quickly now. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, you wanted to know the, like, tune that they play. Also, Cricketot can produce that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antenna together. Hmm, I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this tonal enigma. Here, take these. Timber of the Fields. Thank you. The Revive Chokes. To complete a Pokémon's page in your Pokédex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Sure am. Kind of a big deal. Alright, so... I want to go back to the Heights camp. We can keep going for a few more minutes, and then we'll probably end this one off. I can probably start doing longer episodes for this now. Yeah, there's the stupid balloon race. Uh, yeah, we can probably start doing longer episodes for this now. Um, I've kind of caught up on things again, so... Yeah. Oh, cool, and you can pick up while you're- while you're riding. Awesome. Good to know. But yeah, um, I've- I've kind of caught up on recording finally. And this is the- the game that needs the hour-long treatment the most, I feel, because it's probably the longest one that I'm playing <clears throat> at the moment. So, uh, yeah. I think it's probably a good call. I finished Star Raptors page. Or, no, that was Star Ravia, not- yeah. Uh, hi. You I do want. Come on out. With your hands up, Burmy. Ooh, you are only level 9. Um... Uh, quick attack? Please don't die. Maybe I should just... Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, you are defensive as all hell. That is, that is correct. Okay. My offensive stats were lowered. That is fine, because I'm going to catch you with this Pokeball. Into it you go. Yeah, this game deserves the hour-long treatment. It's usually like RPGs, JRPGs, stuff like that. This is like a big open world game, so it, it's probably needed. I should see what the feather balls do. I kind of assumed heavy and feather balls just caught heavy and light Pokemon better. But um, that's probably the wrong assumption. That specific little jingle there really sounded like some music in Breath of the Wild that... I mean, that yeah, definitely, definitely the same kind of instrument and thing. It's a little piano going... Da -da 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 -da. Fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly in the air. Okay. So that's what it's used for. Hello. Staravia. Is that how I catch the, the star after that's flying around over there? Have I marked that on the map, actually? I don't think I did. I should mark that on the map. I mean, I might not need to catch it, ever. Oh, sorry, you don't like water. You're water soluble, wow. Who knew, oh wait, you can drown? You can't swim? I kind of assumed you'd be able to swim. I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh yeah, and there's this stupid vicious barrel over here. 
I don't want anything to do with you and you don't want anything to do with me, believe me. I've beaten your ass once, I'll do it again. Alright, let's just get back over here. Ooh, there's one of the little shaky rock things. I'll probably end the episode off before we fight uh, Cleavor. I hate to cliffhang it like that, I guess, but uh, I think it's probably for the best. Uh, hiya. It is a Geodude. That is fine. I will annihilate you with my Bweasel. A Bweebly. Oh. Mud slap. While Geodude became obscured. What? Usually Mud Slap lowers your evasion and er not evasion, your accuracy. So did that did it instead just raise your evasion? Weird. Well my Geodude leveled up and learned a new move. Not that I particularly care because I'm probably not gonna be using Geodude. Sorry, Geodude. Uh Hello. It's Combi. Can it be a lady combi, please? No, what, what's up with all the boy combi? Alright, Shine then. I have no need for you. Go out of here, you can't become a queen. Alright, so... Let's go up here, I guess. Ooh, there's another Silcone. I do need to defeat another one of those, actually. Or catch one, but uh, I'm gonna defeat it. Easier. And faster. Uh, get him, Staravia. You murder that cocoon that is completely defenseless. There we are. Thank you. Level up for Geodude. <coughs> oh, my coughs, please. Uh, what was that noise? Is that just a soundtrack with that sparkling? I thought there was like a rare item near me or something. An Abberry. Hi, Baneri. Have I finished her? I have not. In the ball. Alrighty, so... Yep, that's another Baneri caught. And we got a bunch of XP for it. Cool. Alright, well, like I said, I think I'm gonna end the episode off before I go over there, but we made a lot of progress this episode. I'm pretty happy with it, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.